aboard Research Vessel Thompson, a variety of lab spaces facilitate the work of the science crew. Here, some of the team describe their workspaces. Okay, so my name is Chris Elgo, and I'm a postdoctoral scientist at the Marine Biological Laboratory. So when we're getting ready to take a sample, we send um, these cartridges down on Jason, and these are what we are collecting our microbial samples on. Okay, so let's now go to the freezer. Once samples are back on board, they can be stored in freezers on the ship. And when we get back to the lab, then we're going to extract the DNA from those microbes and sequence it in the sequencer that gets, sequences the DNA, and from that we can tell what microbes are living in there and who's doing what. I'm Susan Murley. I work for Oregon State University as a senior research assistant with Andre Bobbitt. Um, we both uh, do data management while we're out here at the sea. So this is the computer lab where all the information from the ship is displayed on the monitors on the opposite wall here. We've got the ship's navigation, all sorts of geophysical information over here. We have our chief scientist hard at work, Bill Chadwick. In addition to Bill being chief scientist of the entire cruise, he is also a watch leader during some of the dives. He's the one to make sure scientific goals are accomplished and has to translate those to the Jason pilot who makes it happen with the robotic arms on the submersible. Here, Bill works with colleague Scott Nooner and the Jason crew to install a pressure sensor on the seafloor. I'm Sean McGuire. I'm a geology grad from the University of North Carolina at Wilmington, and with the science party, we're all required to kind of do a job here in the adjacent van or the command center. This right here is the data logger. The data logger is responsible for reporting what they're doing moment to moment. The video logger is basically responsible for keeping uh, any highlights that the chief scientist needs. As seen in the successful placement of a pressure sensor on a benchmark on the ocean floor, the facilities on board research vessel Thompson, and close collaboration of scientists make it possible to successfully accomplish our research goals at this submarine volcano.